Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew. Daily events worldwide, and we are on September 14th, 2021. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Dew, where we look at space weather, world weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, keeping humanity aware and prepared. Checking out 304 angstroms, a very active sun, plasma filaments erecting away two days ago and came to us very quickly. We were under a slightly elevated space weather event over the past six hours as solar wind speeds were reaching over 570 kilometers per second. Have a quick look here at the last 48 hours incoming imagery, large plasma filaments, and as well a small solar flare to talk about in the departing outgoing position. Right there on the left side, you can see that plasma filament leaving the sun and then a watch in the bottom corner, right-hand side, small B-class flare. A closer look here, thanks to Solar Dynamics Observatory for these amazing images coming today. The last 48 hours on the sun, there's that plasma whip. And then as well, B-class solar flare in the departing position from that very active region that I pointed out two days ago. Two sunspot regions throughout there. Looking at multi-spectrum here, you can see all of the space weather events over the last 48 hours. Basically one solar flare to talk about and we're already within the space weather affected from that CME two days ago. Also going to be watching southwest region here. Pretty active on the backside coming around. Looking at 193 angstroms here. No coronal holes to talk about. Most times we would see dark open regions towards the equator that can affect us slightly diminished right now looking at iswa you can see no major space weather events and the flare does not show on the iswa only coronal mass ejections and as well larger solar flares looking at real-time solar wind we are steady at about 470 kilometers per second and that's been steady for the past 24 hours being affected by the space weather Density as well increased to almost 20. Quite a spike there. Looking at our magnetosphere and see how it is doing. This is the last six hours of imagery. Solar winds. And then here, the pressure on our planet. A lot of backside pressure right now. Looking at our Schumann resonance for today, quite a healthy 53, quality of 11.8. So power 31 and 18. Geomagnetic activity re remains low. And you can see that slightly went up into a B class in the Solar X Flux. And Volcano Discovery we're reporting today that La Palma Volcano. just off the coast of Africa and Spain. They've seen many earthquakes, three to 400 earthquakes the last 48 hours, and that has raised the alert level to yellow. As well, a 5.2 earthquake was reported in the region, but not reported on USGS. Having a look here on Google Earth, you can see the southern region was the most recent. There was an eruption back in 1960, and the last large eruption before that was back in the 1800s. There seems to be a lot of volcanoes waking up from the 1800s and throughout that time period are waking up again. Looking at La Palma here, you can see there's a large collapse at one point and it seems to be heavily populated. Maybe about 200,000 people, maybe more 
I'm not even sure of the population of this island. But crazy stuff indeed. Lots of volcanoes waking up across the world. Let's have a look at the earthquakes. Starting here in North America. Not much to talk about through the Midwest. Or the New Madrid. Small earthquakes here through California. 2.6, 2.9. Moving northward into New Idria. 3.8, 10 kilometer depth. Was the largest throughout the region. 2.9 as well. Overlooking Hawaii, no major earthquakes to talk about. Largest through the region was the 3.0 in Pahala, 34 kilometer depth. Increased activity through Alaska, and we can expect that to increase even more over the next little while. Very large and strong low pressure system invading the area right now. So 4.9 throughout the region there, and as well through Russia, 4.9. 5.3 here in Cinnabung, 31 kilometer depth. As well, Port Blair, India, 4.4, 4.2 here in Aksu, China, and a 4.7 in Pindi Gop, Pakistan. Irman Sea, 4.5, so just west of Greece, 4.5 here as well at a 10 kilometer depth reported in Svalbard and Genmayan. Minor earthquakes through Puerto Rico today, 3.3 being the largest. And as well, South America here, 4.4, Illapel, Chile, and a 4.8, both at a 10 kilometer depth. And that's pretty much it. These are the two largest earthquakes today, a 5.2 in Tonga, and as well, a 5.1 Solomon Islands, both pretty much at 115 kilometer depth. So stay aware and prepared, my friends and family. Yesterday, there were some pretty deep earthquakes, and we've got a lot of action here coming off the coast of Africa and Spain with La Palma Volcano. Let's have a quick look here at the last seven days across the planet. Visualize what is happening across the Ring of Fire right now. And it seems to be slowing down, especially through Indonesia, the Philippines, and then... All of this activity that is not being reported on USGS kind of makes me wonder. North America, South America seem to be average. We're sitting at about 270 earthquakes the last 24 hours. Let's have a quick look at Pacific Disaster Center showing the most recent volcanoes updated. Sabancaya in Peru, Fuego in Guatemala, Tacono, Indonesia, Sumeru, Indonesia, Swiss and Ajima, Japan, uh, Reventador in Ecuador, looking at a landslide here in Union Jarez, Chiapas. Popopacarito in Mexico. Karamiski, Russia, Sangay, Ecuador, Languila, Papua New Guinea, and as well Nevadas de Ruz in Colombia. So about 12 volcanoes getting updated today. Definitely a volcano activity report is due, so stay tuned to the due, keeping you updated on the volcanoes erupting around the world. We also have Tropical Storm Nicholas, who is still inundating the Texas-Louisiana border with tons of rain and getting ready to move eastward. Strong storms through southern Ontario throughout the night tonight and as well throughout the day today. We had some pretty intense storms, tornado warnings going out. As well, Tropical Depression, Chanthu is still alive, and that thing is going to be racing through the Pacific. So stay tuned. Five-day forecast coming up quick. And of course, we got storms through Spain, which were forecasted two days ago. France here, Guard France three hours ago, as well, Eastern England and France. Strong storms as well. Penetaria, Pantaleria, Italy had a tornado warning. Let's get to the five-day forecast brought to you by Media Worth and as well daily events worldwide. We're going to start out here in Brantford, Ontario, home base for now. And we've had some pretty extreme weather move through the area today. Lots of rain last night and lots of lightning strikes as well. A lot of trees were reported across Ontario being downed and struck by lightning. 
So big system there is responsible just north of us, heading through the Hudson Bay right now, and then into Quebec through the long range. But watch for the same pattern to continue as Tropical Storm Nicholas will be pushing in quite a bit of humid tropical gulf moisture into Ontario. So it's going to be a warm weekend coming up and pretty scattered for thunderstorms and rain this week. Big systems there, five-day forecast showing Nicholas moving eastward into New Orleans and then into southeastern parts of the United States as well. you got a tr small tropical system developing there off the coastline. Not set to go anywhere, though. Pretty big low-pressure system heading into Alaska and B.C. this week. Lots and lots of rain and heavy snow through higher elevations, British Columbia. Cooler temperatures will be moving in westward, sorry, into BC and moving eastward as these big systems roll through. And then watch for an even stronger and bigger system here in the Pacific. Five day forecast that's tropical depression. Changthu looks like it's going to be gaining strength again and heading towards the Alaskan Peninsula. So the Aleutian Islands and Alaska, watch for an uptick in seismicity. Overlooking Atlantic, big high pressure ridge, still pretty dominant, but there is a low pressure surface level, low pressure underneath, looking to break it up. You got low pressure system after low pressure system heading to Greenland and as well rain for Iceland. A couple tropical depressions forming here in the long range forecast, and one's going to be heading straight for those islands off the coast of Africa. And as well, you got a small one developing there east of Barbados in the long range. Overlooking Europe, watching that low pressure system, large one coming in from Spain, it's going to pretty much disrupt all weather across Europe throughout the week and as well bring some pretty strong winds and rain eastward towards Russia. Watching a pretty intense low pressure system head through India this week as well, throwing heavy snow amounts through Nepal and Mongolia. Low pressure system heading to the Philippines this week could form into a tropical depression in the long range heading towards Thailand as well. Tropical depression Changthu will be heading northeast into the Pacific. Overlooking Australia, southern regions receiving pretty cool temperatures and some rain all this week. Going to leave you here looking at the southern hemisphere versus the northern pointing out the beast of a system that is spinning right now in the southern hemisphere just south of New Zealand. This big bad boy is going to be spinning in the same region for the next five days. As well, another one there south of South America and Africa. So three major systems. And looking at a temperature of minus 63 in some, minus 66 in some areas of Antarctica versus the northern where we have a low pressure system heading out or that is grinding and has not moved just north of Russia in the Bering Sea right here. This is the winter engine. Welcome it soon. Thanks for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun and get your morning dew. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.